So here we are, back in Crusader Kings 2, uh, 3. Boy. <coughs> and I will play a bunch, a little bit anyway. Um, right. So we just created the Kingdom of Hungary. And we're here in, well, what is this? Is this the Balkans? <laughs> Maybe. God, my my uh, geography is is not great. I can tell you that. And um, we just formed this. We are stressing out as hell. So that's something we should take care of because uh, this is giving us a severe health penalty. We are young with 34 years of age. Uh, well, okay, middle-aged, but young enough still to not worry about dying immediately, but eh, definitely something we should absolutely take care of. So um, we don't have money, which is generally not helpful if you're trying to reduce the stress. Uh, so we can't go, for example, on a hunt, which would definitely help us reduce stress. So instead, we will have to unpause the game and just let it run a little bit. See what happens. Oh! We have become the culture head of the Slovian culture. Interesting. Very good. So, um, in Crusader Kings, we have multiple levels of who we are <laughs> and what influences who we are. We have the character himself, we have certain traits. We have the religion that the character is part of and we have the culture that the character is part of. Each of these has their own upsides, downsides, or, well, mainly individual specific things that go along with it. So we are Catholic. That's fine. Our forever is 69. Nice. And we are of the Slovian culture. Now, if we look at this, we can see Slovian is mainly where we are. And I think we control basically all of the Slovian... Uh, yeah. We control everything of Slovian culture, do we? No, we don't actually. Slovian culture is up here. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're there. It exists. We are part of it. And we have the greatest controlling share of Slovian people in our country. So we get to decide certain things. Um, let's see. So what is our culture anyway at the moment? Uh, we are West Slavic, so people around here with a similar heritage like us better. Um, court language is set... All good. We have the aesthetics of the Slovians, which is just kind of what 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 stuff we wear, uh, which is really cool, I think. Uh, we could go ahead and go to here, go to the barbershop, and now we can change our stuff. Of course, this would all be anything, not just Slovian culture, including stuff we unlocked in the past, but... Um, I don't know, is there, is there like Slovian specific? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's Eastern stuff. Hmm. Well, but that theoretically, <laughs> this should be, um, this should be kind of influenced there. What else do we have? Uh, we have these traditions. Now, these are important. We have two out of five traditions, and we're working on becoming xenophilic. Uh, we are we have mountaineer ruralism, so we're doing doing much better in mountains because if we look at the at the map here, you know, there's a lot of mountains and hills and whatnot where we live. Not right here in the heartland, but um, there's a bunch around here with the Carpathians uh, and, and all that. So yeah, there's there's a lot of hills and stuff. We are equitable. So people are generally more just, more honest, and uh, people are more willing to send away a hostage. It also means that hostile schemes have a 30% less... I'm, I'm not sure if this... Yeah, it's power. So if anyone tries to hurt us, they'll be 30% harder in achieving it. We're working on becoming xenophilic. I don't know exactly where we get these from. Like, how is it decided what the next thing is? But if we get this, um, we will have cultural acceptance by plus 25%, which is pretty good if you have a lot of cultures in your realm. 
Uh, we could diverge the culture. So we could create a new culture by spending, I think it's prestige, which is very costly, but you could build, mix and match your own thing. We could become neo hungarian you know, uh, or uh, we could name it however we want, <laughs> for example. So that's interesting. But the most interesting thing is our tech tree, basically, for the culture, because um, while we have a talent tree, which is for our current character, what we can do what we can build and stuff is the culture tech tree, basically. So um, our current fascination here is Banus. And for some reason, I can't click on this. Why can't I click on this? Oh, innovations. There we go. Um, no worries. You're not too dumb for this. It's just a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And this here is something you never interact with when you're starting out with like this is almost irrelevant to you this is these are deep mechanics or deep ish medium deep mechanics which don't really matter um mind we are in this game in this campaign specifically for now 10 hours or so so before that it barely mattered at all um so don't worry about this anyway this is our tech tree and we, as the culture head now, get to decide what we are going to be fascinated with as a people. And something I always find uh, interesting is uh, checking out where we are currently going and what would be the next best and interesting thing for us. Uh, the Onage, that's where we're going to go. We, need, we desperately need uh, the ability to build siege weapon, which we currently cannot because we haven't researched the Onaga. We haven't been fascinated with them enough. There are those other cool things like Table of Princes, which is something uh, specific to our culture and region, uh, which would give us... What would give... Uh, it, it increases... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can enact house seniority. Mm ha. -hmm. Wait a moment. Let's check our succession here. We could get this early. The oldest house member inherits. We would have single inheritance immediately, basically. That is crazy. That is very strong. We wouldn't have to worry about inheritance anymore. Is this better than siege weapons? I'd say. I'd say it is. So by focusing on it, all of these are going up slowly. But by focusing on it, we kind of push it. I don't need siege weapons. Not yet. Everyone is weak, including us. So it's fine. Um, let's see. We don't have a wet nurse. Always have a wet nurse on hand. You want your kids to grow strong and big. Uh, then again... Uh, do I want to do that? Not so much. We've already got an heir who is fine. And we have a secondary potential backup heir. But we have all the girls still. Which might not be matrilineally inclined though. So, oh, We haven't found a spouse for anyone yet. So it's all good. He can die. Which sounds ter ter terrible. I agree. It's not a cool thing. But yeah, no. People live and die a lot in, in medieval times. Um, we could ask for claims. I don't care for claims. Uh, yeah, what we're working on is reducing our stress and feudalizing our main holding. which For which we need gold. For both of which we need gold. Isn't that fantastic? Now something we could do to earn us some gold is... What the heck was that? One new situation has appeared. What situation has appeared in our courtroom? Okay, someone just burped. They're talking Latin in the background. It's crazy. My Archbishop Ramon pants his stomach and grins. Ah, better out than in me, dad always sad. Various courtiers exchange incredulous glances before my knights uh, look directly at me and claims, My king! That was wholly inappropriate. Certainly, you must agree. So, this is a kind of match between our knight and our bishop. And we are now forced to make a choice here. We could be 
Raman is a man of God. Let us treat him as such so he can burp all he wants. We could be like, no, 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 no. He will learn proper manners now. Or we could be like, come on. We all haven't had lo one lose, haven't we? Uh, personally, I'm going to go for this option because it's le losing us stress. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't really matter much. Uh, but we're looking to reduce stress over here. So that's what we're going to take. This option, both of them lose us court grandeur, which doesn't matter much at this point in time. So we'll just take this. And our bishop is going to like us more for it. Yeah, that was an important situation for which we had to check out our court. You know, someone burped. Absolutely crucial king business. Nothing more important. Uh, well, let's check if my knight Ramon is actually Spanish. He might be. I have people from all over. Um, where is he? Can't actually see him right now, which. Hmm. I think this kind of looks like him, but that's not him. It's not him either. I'm clicking on these. Ah oh, no, it was his. Wait, then our bishop is the is the dude. Okay, he is... Aha! Asturlianese, which I believe is Spanish. Um, so this guy is the head of this culture, so let's find him. Whoop, yep. Well, this might be Portugal. This here? Is that in Spain or is it in Portugal? I think Portugal is like this. I only have the old-timey place. I don't know what this is today. Well, it's it's close enough anyway. Yes, our bishop is Spanish. Of Spanish descent. He's sent by the church, so. See, you're already relating to the game. <laughs> Yes, the man that burped, whose side we had to take, is Spanish. And he is our bishop. Who we should probably actually put to work. There are non-believers in our lands. Let's expel them. Go convert people, do your thing. Our daughter has learned a new language, Serbian Croatian. Yeah, is that what the Spanish do? Just walk into court and then just start burping? Um, oh, we could do a grand tournament, but we're not going to arrive in time. I still don't know why they give me the pop-up if I'm going to be too late. That's just teasing, you know? Why do you tease me so? Scrape the barrel. <laughs> We'll recruit a random lowborn to fill a random court position. I like that. That's 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 great. Send your guests packing. Okay. All right. Train for tournament. How much does it cost? Oh, it cost me just prestige. You and your knights will sharpen your skills. If successful, you will raise your prowess for the martial events of an upcoming grand tournament. Cool. Let's do that. Um. Adam yells while dealing a powerful blow to my sword that makes me take a couple of steps back. And I won't be too gentle to you on the tourney, my lord. He says, drying the sweat from his forehead. If you want to win, you can afford to lose. Not even to me. Not even once. Arg! So we would get... Um, we, we have a chance to get well trained. We have a very slim chance to be wounded. Every knight might have their prowess increased, which makes them better. We might become strong. Oh, I love strong. That's a great trait. It's a low chance, but I don't know. At the very least, we probably get whale trained. So let's do this. 
Ah, training is impressive, but it, it didn't wasn't enough for being strong. Now something cool I, <laughs> I want to show you. This guy here, who is um, who is my knight and my marshal. He is actually a criminal. He was leading a peasant revolt against me, but I defeated him. I imprisoned him and then I negotiated his release on the terms that he joined me and become my new general, basically. And now we're going to find him a wife so he can produce many more heirs. And he is 40. So we'll give him a young wife who can give him many children. Now, this sounds very sexist and misogynistic. I, I understand that, but it's, um, yeah, in this year, you want to give them a young wife so they can give many children, which then can fill positions at court, you know? It's it's very historically accurate. I'm not... It's, it's the times. It absolutely is the times. Yes. Absolutely is. And we want to find someone halfway young... I wish it would increase the opinion of me, you know? I'm like, hey, I found your wife. How about you like me a little bit more? <gasps> oh, we can... Could, uh, yes. We can go there and we will arrive, except we can't afford it. Unless we go without guards. But that's fine. We don't have to... It's not too far away. We'll be safe. We'll go and join this. Do we need these? No. We can go for free. That's crazy. And we just trained. So we get to go to the tourney now. Good stuff. Um, let's check. Our goal at the tourney is recreation. We want to reduce our stress. Remember, we are close to a nervous breakdown here. So that's where we want to go. And now we can see our character travel along here. And there will be some events as we travel through the lands. Now the animation level is very rudimentary. <laughs> Alright, so the lady agrees to marry our knight. Excuse me? Um, okay. Her breasts are covered by her hair and nothing else. This looks a little bit like a glitch. What, you mean our, our... Yeah, okay. She just has holes. Oh, my. There are religions here and cultures which just go fully nude. Like, all they have at the end is like a like a fig leaf covering their privates. That's all. Um, today, my son was taught a lesson in vassal management. It was quite complicated, of course. Necessary, but perhaps uh, a bit beyond his grasp. My subject only ever will wish me well, he exclaims. I will trust my subjects indiscriminately so that we can build the realm together. Oh, you sweet gullible child. That level of trust could be dangerous. <laughs> it's called fashion, yeah. Um, so, this is an event in his growing up. He's 13. He'll come of age at 16. Until then, sometimes we get events where we can kind of influence where he goes, where what he's going to be. And right now we could uh, allow him to remain trusting. Trusting has upsides, but quite honestly, the downsides are much bigger. Um, so we will spend some st stress instead and make sure that he is something else. For example, forgiving or patient. Now, patient is decent because he already has a high learning skill, which is a little book icon there, uh, over here. And, oh no. Come on. Let me lock the tooltip, please. Thank you. There we go. Uh, hostile scheme resistance plus 10. That's very good. Uh, forgiving is also decent, especially since it's the virtuous by the Catholics. You know? So... He'll get extra deals out of it. And we are forgiving right now. He gets diplomacy and learning. But his intrigue goes down. Which isn't too bad. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll make him forgiving instead of trusting. Sadly, he's a little bit homely. He's not the prettiest boy. 
Which I'm 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 offended that Homely is a little toad because toads are really cute. Um Alright. Weird whispers. Ah, right. People are, are saying bad stuff about me. I don't care. I stand above these things. I will spend some of my prestige, which is up here. And that's perfectly fine. I don't care. They can say about me what they wish. Alright, we have arrived at the tournament. Now we do tournament things. While we're here, we have a choice between things that we can do. We are here to relax, so definitely we're going to go to the tavern. Right? Um, I sit in the tavern with a small group of courtiers. I saw that gallant knight holding someone's side, one of them whispers, and I quickly get lost in my own thoughts, observing the flickering calf candles. As I take a sip of the wine, I reminisce about that time when my first child, a beautiful boy, he's actually homely, that's mean, was born broadly smiling. Alright, see you around, thanks for joining. <laughs> I think you understood some things, you understood that that one boy was silly and he's from Spain, so that's all you need to know. Have a nice evening, see ya. Uh, let's see. Do you want to hear a real story? I ask, turning to my companions. I just want to keep drinking. Yeah, I just want to. I I just want to increase. I just want to keep drinking. Yes, hooray! Reduce all stress. That's all we're looking for. I'm no longer overwhelmed by stress. Ha ha! Great. I'll stick to this place because in some days we get to do another thing. We can speed it up slightly. Oh, we have a new martial lifestyle perk. We'll become peacemaker. Plus 10 peace acceptance. Very strong. Our royal court is at grandeur too. Alright. Um... Is that up or down? How are we at level 2? There. I think we're, we went down. <laughs> eh, eh. That's fine. I don't mind. We can be down on court grandeur. Doesn't matter too much at the moment. Our commander was improved. Very good. We like to see it. Oh no, our uncle has died. That's fine though. We have integrated his lands into our realm before. Before he died. I forgot to be in the tourney. <laughs> uh, county control, popular opinion. We should probably seek the temple. We are very faithful and everything, so... And let us try and find inner peace. As we are zealous. Very well. Lampard shall serve me well. Another night for our court. Good stuff. Let's find you a spouse. And you get her. For no good reason. Except that she was right there. All right, and next we'll visit the tourney grounds just so we can, you know, take part in the whole thing. The marriage proposal was accepted. Ah, well, we didn't actually get to do that beforehand. But who are we betting on? <laughs> um, Dorota. A low-born Slavyansk lady. I am here to watch, not flirt. Oh, personal scheme resistance plus 35%. No one gets to charm me. I am uncharmable. I am completely resistant to anything like this. Alright. So who do we bet on? 
Adam is a safe bet, and he's my boy. My champion, Vladimir. Your personal champion. Ah. Okay, I'll bet on you, but you better get it done. I need the money. I don't, I don't have money to spend. Adam, you better let him win. Let's let's be clear here. Let's see. We'll we'll be updated even if we're not looking at it. Powerful vassals expect stuff from us. <laughs> sure they do. Speaking of which, what Dutchy do belong to? This one here. And I hold that. Alright. And what else do I hold? I hold a bunch of weird stuff. It's not really really sensibly distributed here. Okay, one last knock. The best man won. Oh, Vladimir actually won. We, we got 70 gold out of this. That's crazy. He donates most of his prize money to his liege, which is us. And he splits the prize money with his liege, which is us. That's crazy. Look at the money we just made. That's fantastic. We didn't even need to win. Um, Who's this? I, I don't know. Don't care. Get him out of my sight. Reduce my stress right now. All right, the grand tournament. The sun comes down and we leave. So we didn't really get much. We get Turnigore, less stress, and we get 150 prestige. Good stuff. Look at our piety. We are so pious. I don't know what hit them. That was more of the same information as before. But now we return home. And next, once we're back, we'll see if we can't have a little war. Tron path, fine. We'll find another path. Yeah, I don't mind. We'll go somewhere dangerous, but it's okay. Um, let's mount a search party. Or we'll find them ourselves. Intrigue and prowess challenge against Vladimir. Yeah, I want to find my boy. We bring Vladimir back. And now we have a higher potential with a rivalry for him. I don't understand that. Like, why would he hate us for finding him after he's got lost in the wilderness? Wouldn't he want to be unlost from the wilderness? Aren't we offering such... Oh well. The Metal Man. <laughs> we gain some of him loyal squires for his fealty. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, goodness. Hark, get me out of this metal prison. My squire took offense at my manner, even going. Uh, whatever the strange man did. Could not have been enough. Okay. Right. We get a new champion. Which isn't great. I want my boy back. Who just won the tournament. Where do I even set my champion? Garden Hermit. 
Uh, Royal. No. Common. Personal champion. Where is Vladimir? You will remain my champion. It'll cost us, but it's fine. Yes, replace. Vladimir has been my champion and he'll remain my champion. I will not have him be replaced by some louse from the woods. Let's see. Do we fight this man personally? Uh, Adam could do that. Nah, we have, we have no interest in fighting with you. He is trampled by us. Yeah, well. Shouldn't have tried that. That's all I'm saying. And we can go inside again. Nice. So now it's time to declare war on our neighbor. How about it? Oh, look at all those claims we could press. Let's see what's the interesting... Duchy of Lower Bosnia. There are some duchies here. It's not bad. They're pretty equal in strength. I mean, we might face difficulties. There's another duchy. It's, everyone has a claim on this duchy, apparently. Yeah, everyone has a claim on this duchy. We're just looking for the biggest claims. The Kingdom of Great Moravia. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We could, you know, but uh, since he has the title, that we're not going to push any of his because he's going to be next king anyway. And he'll no longer be our vassal after. So we need to take something out of his future country while we still can. <laughs> Basically. Our son, the Duchy of Slavonia. I think, I think yes. Might be a hard fought battle though. Might not go our way. Might not go our way at all. I'm a little bit scared to do this. Now this is too close to comfort. No, 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 no. Too close. We'll just go to another grand tournament. And we'll travel without anyone for free. Because we're so safe in our own lands. And what will we do there? Recreation? That's what we're here for. Uh, yeah. We get an unknown rash. I'm here to recreate. Oh no, the grand tournament was cancelled. Ah, oh, we got a little bit out of it. A big shame. We need outside allies. Will you marry one of my kids? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Alliance power. What can we get? Well, the Kingdom of England. He would even take matrilineal. Oh. I mean, England is not going to help us whatsoever. <laughs> But they take it and it's going to be matrilineal. So whoever inherits here is going to be part of my dynasty. Yeah. I'll take that. What else do we have? County. Or the kingdom of Italy, eh? Will you also take my... Oh, okay. We'll take that. So that way we can at least get Italy on our side here. Fighting Great Moravia. So now we have two kingdoms, the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Italy here. 
That's crazy. It might actually work out much in our favor not to wage a war at home. Because if we get called into their walls, we can just go siege and earn some money. Get some hostages, you know? Are you in a war? No. Are you in a war? No. <laughs> Be too far away anyway. Let's see, can we get our last daughter somewhere sensible? County Duchy. Duchy of East Anglia. Ostfalen. It's not going to go for matrilineal though. I don't give my children non-matrilineally to anything that isn't a duchy. Our nephew, that's that's pretty much inside our account. It doesn't really matter. Nah, we'll leave her. We'll leave her for, for the moment. Oh, we are being invited to a hunt. Yes. We will go. All the way over here. No, where are we going? South. Okay. Through our own lands. Good. We need 500 gold. Can I ask the head of the faith for money? No, I cannot. Why? Time locked or what's the problem? Time locked. Soon enough, we have used this to wage our war to create Hungary. So I'm fine with that. I'll ask later. But ask I shall. If there are any questions from chat, just feel free to ask. No biting on this end here. Just honest answers as best I can give them. These guys are just really, really good. And have we arrived? Yes, now we have. Very good. Soon the hunt starts and we're here for recreation. Recreation only. I love that you can get into a hunt and get positives out of it without having to pay. That's really nice. Chancellor impressed the count. Very good. Um, lucky falconry glove. That's not bad. But I don't need luck. I need money more than luck. Let's be honest. Let's see. Slightly increases hunting experience. Let's find the beast. Success chance goes up a bit. To find and lay low the creature. I love the glasses. Uh, so it's time to hunt. Let's go. We really don't own all of Hungary, do we? Oh, well, actually we do. Most of it, anyway. Ah, the hunt fails. Big shame. Let us leave this adventure behind for now. We gain some prestige. We gain the trade hunter. And... The stress reduction, that's what we came for, mainly. Very good. Costs us nothing. Not a thing. So we can't... Can, what wars can we fight? There's a whole lot of here. Helch. Come for the county. I think we do. Oh. 
1,500. Uh, uh, they might join. They might. They might not. We'll have to see. Okay, they did join. Everyone did. Okay, we need an ally. Italy. Or our wife. What do you mean, or? We'll bring everyone in. So we'll raise our armies right there and possibly regret it. Might not be the best spot. Oh, it might actually be a good spot. Um, nah, we just, we, we, we ignore it. We haven't seen anything. So what we get now is to crush smaller armies while they're still trying to combine themselves into something big. Or at least we have a chance to. Which is always how you want to start a war. With some clear victories. What's going on? Someone is trying to kill someone. I really never care, unless it's actually my children or me. Though we might get money out of them, couldn't we? No, I'm not I'm not eating a lowly delicacy, thank you. There we go. Encountered them. And we're countering them heavy, so should be an easy victory. Our knight was wounded though. But now he has maimed someone else. Very good. Now we go attack him. And I think once we return, we put some better people in charge. Meaning me! We could pin our nephew. So there's another army coming. Will we lead personally? Yeah, we're definitely the best man for the job. So our allies are slowly arriving. Just in time too. Because our enemies are coming up here. And that might be cutting it extremely close what I'm doing here. If we can win this before they arrive, we might have a chance. Otherwise, it's all down to our allies. And how quickly they can arrive. Because we are not moving anywhere anymore at this point. We are stuck here now. And they are coming from all sides now. It is balanced. But only barely. And they are getting reinforcements, while we might not in time. I am scared to look, honestly. But they are coming across a big river, so... Actually... I think it's looking good. We definitely have the high quality here. Alright, our bishop treated us well. Alright, our armies... We wouldn't have needed our allies here, I think. But it was definitely a close call. So instead of getting what we came for in this war, we're gonna go get other things. Uh, let's check. Can we ransom someone already? 
Eh. Ten. Ten gold is more than nothing. Let's have it. And now we go siege here in Moldovia. Because we want more... More hostages to pay for our lifestyle as king. Can't rely on our champions winning and giving us the money all the time. We have to make our own way in the world. And that is by obviously attacking and looting everyone around us. I'm a little bit sad that we went for this one county and they're fighting everyone here. Could have gotten that amount of antagonistic behavior for much less, I assume. Uh, we'll move the flag here and raise some additional troops because we have them. And then join our armies here. Honestly, I've never seen such a big army with that high quality. Look at how many knights we have. I have never seen this before. This is insane. But probably one of the reasons why we're doing so well, even with the fairly low numbers. That's crazy. Like, that is really crazy. But I feel like there have been changes to how the quality works. When this started out, it was always normal quality. Unless he had literally nothing but knights. Will they win up there is the big question. I would like to join these armies, thank you. Do we have a siege master? Because if we do, yeah, we'll put them in. I don't need to lead in the siege, thanks. Okay, so why is this superior quality and this isn't? That's a bit odd. Probably makes sense in some way. So the reason I'm attacking not our main goal is because we want to siege. We want to have a chance to earn some money. <clears throat> so all we need to do is defend and siege. Basically. Our son has learned the Dutchian Volga language. Where can we see what languages he speaks? Where is that? Also, why does he have minus 205 gold? What What's up with that? Oh, he has a crush. All right, so we got a prisoner. And we won the siege, giving us also some money. And now we go... No, we don't go there. We don't want to lose people going there. We go there. He'll probably come and try and retake what we are taking here. For which he will have to face our armies. Now, how much is she worth? 10 gold? I'll take the 10 gold. Oh, our boy has grown up to be a tough soldier. Eh. Honestly, I don't like him all that much. Let's be mean. We split, 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 we split. And we get... Ah. Uh, Give me the outline. We take an army of one. Where's our boy? He's commanding another army. Which army? 
I mean, he's probably commanding one of these. There he is. So we send him with zero men to face the enemy. Does that even work? No. His zero men army went away, so he gets one man. Where is he? Who are you commanding? Hmm. I don't get it. Where is he? Fine. I'm not going to try and kill him. Ooh, Dynasty. Faithful Magistrates. Title creation cost minus 20%. We don't really need that all that much more. But growth co uh, control growth is nice. Building construction cost. I would like... I would like something that gives us... Something... Something religious. Is this something religious? No. Not really. Hmm. Language scholars. Special weddings. Pilgrimages are... Fit. Oh. Okay. All right. <sighs> These are always difficult, I think. But we have so many knights. Might as well make them more effective. House of Warriors. Right now, that is definitely true. I tend to make more RP choices in this than actual sensibly... Gameplay related choices. Uh, let's get a actually siege land in here. Thanks. Just because I joined the more, I enjoy the more. Oh, have you gotten reinforcements from somewhere? Oh yeah, look at that. He has found more friends. Okay, we might have to go start sieging their actual properties, which we came for. Yeah, bringing in more and more people. I don't like the looks of that. Uh, what? We will become the owner of a lock of hair. Seduce scheme power, but... <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you, my... Proud vassal. Okay, he's just raising an army here right now. Okay, now let's go north. I don't care to hunt little armies. We have to go face the big stuff up there. Did we get someone else to... Ransom? No, we did not. But we can ask for some gold on the head of faith. Might be interesting, might be interesting. 135 gold. Yeah, thanks. Marshall. Now we can become gallant. Marshall, everything goes up. Definitely want that. And we should probably lead our armies as well. Because we are the most proficient at that. Actually, did it go down after we took Gallant? Well, some part of the army is coming to face us. But the other part is just walking away. Nope, now they're coming. Everyone's coming. Big battle ahead. Oh, but we're winning hard. For the moment. 
He's not even sending all the reinforcements. He can see the writing on the wall. He's being slaughtered. But he keeps sending sheep to the slaughter. Our knight maimed someone. Our knight wounded someone. Very good. That's what we want. And we got more people, but this guy can't be ransomed either. Did we lose our steward? I think. Okay. Our nephew and vassal, who's very, very good at this. Or our the duchess here, who's just our vassal. Let's put her in. She likes us anyway. But 15 is high enough. I just don't want any negative traits, so... 15 is enough for me. Maybe our allies go and retake that while we siege for the primary objective here. And maybe these brave 60... Yep, the brave 68 are attacking us. Very bravely so. You have my respect, brave warriors. Very brave indeed. Foolish, but brave. So what's with you, my lad? Oh, you're not even the worst kind of knight that we could have. You convert and you come to my court. And you become my executioner? Okay. Is he good at that? I mean, he's an aspiring blade master, so maybe? You have fought well. I will now have you at my court as my executioner. <laughs> I appreciate my enemies if they prove themselves strong. Let's find you a spouse, shall we? You can have the hunchback. She will do for you. Oh, the, the brave 182. I respect it. I respect it. It's an honest attempt. And they did kill some. For sure. It wasn't entirely in vain. Just mainly. And mostly. Let us make peace. A white peace now. Why am I comp Yeah, okay, he's my spy master. That's why we're trying to make him like us a little bit more. Fine. We're being raided. Alright. Nothing to be done about that. Not while we're fighting down here in our war. And they captured some people. But I believe if we defeat this army, we get what they have in loot. What they're carrying with them. So... You know. Can be worthwhile fighting raiders. And we've won. Wait a moment. Just wait a moment. How much is she worth to you? Ten. That's not a lot. High Chieftain the Quarrelter. Uh, grows former... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want stress. <laughs> Let's try and get those uh, raiders... And we don't have to immediately take the, the piece. But we definitely have to move, uh, move out to somewhere where we can take on some supplies again. Because our troops are kind of dying here. So let's go siege now. No, no, no. We, we don't go siege. We resupply. Everyone please disperse so we can resupply our troops. <coughs> yep, 
Is there enough supply here? Yeah, there is. So before they get a chance to take it from 100%, uh, we'll definitely take care of that. But for now, we need the supplies. We can't really do anything. But we can go and try and take the raiders. Our allies are not going to help in that. Just so we're clear. But we might reach the raiders just in time. And they carry currently 20 gold, which we should then get uh, by killing them. If we actually manage to. Now, our enemies see a bit of a chance there and they're jumping in. But in those fights, our friends are going to be in there. See, we got the money. 300 and something. We had 330 and now we have 350. So that worked. So now they're sieging here. I don't like that. So we'll just finish. And enforce our demands. So be it. Get our troops to stand down. And now we have this. And since we can hold one more holding, we might just as well keep it. And we're a little bit closer to our goal of feudalizing our main holding here. And we stand down our army. So we could do more holy wars. Uh, let's see. You guys. I didn't appreciate you doing that. No one is coming for you this time, I think. So this could be a nice little war. An another nice little war. We need to be careful again with the kingdom title. So we don't want to take too much of Moldova. And not too much of this. Though it exists, so it wouldn't be usurped. But we can take some more chunks around us. Um... See, down here, loot, uh, raid loot recovered. That's what we got. So if they come, let them loot a little bit and then take them out. I don't think anyone is going to come for uh, for your help. Is, are they? I don't think so. I really don't think so. And this definitely looks like our land. But who else came? This boy here. I'm just a duke in this thing. This one probably, yeah. This duke came. Did they also come? It's also a nice chunk. Great Moravia didn't come. Will anyone come for your help? Potentially this guy, yeah. With his 200 and something soldiers. So do we take this or do we take the bottom? Like, he has more money and he has more troops at the moment. So I think we'll... We'll just take her duchy. Bukovina. It's definitely ours. I know it's ours. It's, that's just how it is. Because my troops are right there. <laughs> Bit of a danger what we're doing right now with all these kind of split. I don't know where they are. All right, our daughter is a flamboyant trickster. Ah, there they are. And pff, we got a secret about an adulterer. I don't care. Means nothing to me. So I believe they are currently at another war, are they? Yep. They are coming for this bit. 
Oh, nice. They added that you can actually see the areas when you click on a war. I don't think that was always the case, so that's cool. So if we click on that war, and we click on... No, if we click on that war, you can see what it's about. I like that. Ooh, our wife and lover is pregnant once more. Love to see it. Speaking of which, uh, army. How about the siege master does the siege, huh? How about that? How about we do that? I think that's a better doing. A faction was created against us. Russian Slovyanskan populists. Aya? Let's see, there's a court thing. But also not. Alright. What? Your court grandeur is below your court grandeur expectations. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, a letter of friendship. Sure. You studied my language. Thanks. Enjoy. Goodbye. Alright. Into the forest. There are a few things. Tempting as an unexplored church. Bishop Ramon would like to hear about such an important finding. Supply limit plus 50%. Okay, that's big. Uh, let's go check it out. The unexplored church. And we found the Sword of Holy Devotion. Can you imagine? Piety per night. Prowess. I shall cherish this. Or we give it to our... Mar <laughs> no, I shall I shall very much cherry, cherish cherry this. This is perfect. That fits us fine. We already have a mace, but the Sword of Holy Devotion just fits the character much more. Much better. So that's great. They're sieging what we just took in the last war, so we'll have to go north to take care of that silliness. Once we've sieged down here successfully, which is almost done. Uh, I don't want to be a drunkard, thank you. No, I am focusing on work. Why is this a negative stress gain? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Uh, that's fine. I don't want to go drinking, thanks. I got wars to fight here. Come on, finish up. There we go. Oh, what? I seized the Magnificent Spear after the Siege of Sueva. Are you kidding me? What? Plus 11 prowess. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. That is... Whew. And we got another little ransom. Is that the same guy we had before? I don't know. Maybe. Duchy of Carinthia. I don't know. I don't care. How much did it cost me to repair? 38. Nah, it's fine. Okay, they're fleeing. We might catch them. Oh, they're no longer running. Uh, maybe we go lead personally. I'm looking if maybe I can find the guy who's going to inherit stuff outside the realm, but I can't. So we'll personally lead. Oh, new martial perk. Engineered for destruction. Siege weapon effective stuff. <laughs> that doesn't really help us. Uh, we'll go with organized march. That's good. Speed and defense. 
that we'll need. Oh, another little daughter. A Dobromila. Cutie. And you'll be intriguing. Intriguingness as well. So I think before we were leading our army, we were winning decisively up here as well. But after switching to leading ourselves, we aren't. We have to defeat this enemy army who's just hostile, but now I am because they are sieging something that we want to siege. So, big oof, so sorry. Okay, now it's a balanced battle. I don't like that anymore. We'll see. If we can beat enough of them early on, we might still win. See, they they dribble they dribble in, so it's fine. Just beating them, letting them come one by one, and then taking them all out as they approach to fight. Big shame for him. Our court grandier is now at level one. <laughs> Why? What's going on? Alright, and we just took over the siege, which is good. So we are taking the progress they made, and we make it our own. And now we can put in the siege master again. I wish we could automate this. It's not interesting gameplay, but it's clear that that's what we're going to do. You know? Ah, well. I'm not complaining. I'm having a good time. Though we're losing money on this war so far. It'll be all worth it once we've won it. Supply-wise, we're good. Seven gold. That's not, that's not a lot. Now we go take this. Well, they can kill each other down here. I don't care. I just don't want the enemy of my enemy to take my stuff. Uh, a new knight, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's good. He can serve us. Let's get your wife. You get a young one. I don't really care much about what they are and what they do. Just as long as you produce us more courtiers that we can then later use. Alright, nice victories all over. Yeah, we are heir in line to our mother. We can vassalize her. How is that a possibility? Did you break free from Great Moravia? Well, we'll bring Mama into the fold, of course. But how did that happen? Yeah, Great Moravia broke apart. Look at that. Not so great anymore. There was some succession, I think. All right, marital recriminations. I'm surprised to find my wife skulking in the study. My beloved, I must confess to you that uh, he has gravely insulted me. I cannot bear the thought of being close to that coarse man any further. Uh, who are you? Uh, I don't know who you are, so... Bye? Ah, nice. So it's 95%, but we're winning anyway. Because we have that uh, trait where peace acceptance is improved by minus 10, so... Anything above 90 and they basically accept. Plus, she's she's done. Like She is done. There's nothing for her to do. Disband all. And now we need to make sure that we give away these titles here. So who has this? She has this. We can usurp it. 
but it costs too much, so we're not gonna. Instead, uh, we check out our holdings here and give our son. Uh, no, not all of these. Just some of these, these. And this lad here, who is 10 now, will tell him to take the vows. Because he is in line to inherit the kingdom of Hungary. Oh no, this is his claims. Let's see. What what would he succeed? The, these two duchies here. No. I don't think so. He will take the vows. He will not accept, but we can take a hook. So he will absolutely accept. So now he's out of the line of succession. He cannot be betrothed. He cannot be landed. Oh. Okay, well. He's he's not... He's not taking it. Um, We can ask him again in 10 years. <laughs> well. They do... Uh, they can say no. It is allowed for some reason. Don't ask me why. Yes, please, dear Pope, give me more money. <gasps> Our culture has arrived in the early medieval era. Wait a moment. Why are we fascinated with that? Did we get the Onaga? No, we didn't. Oh, I was fascinating on this. All right. Okay, so we could go for something early medieval. Like household soldiers, average development of Slovenian counties plus 0 0.12, which is amazing. Uh, no, that's actually not what we get. That's what, how it speeds up. <sighs> Let's see. You generally would want to go like for battlements and burrs early to upgrade your castles quicker. But <laughs> I don't have money. So what we want... Is probably something like that. Additional building slots is great. Uh, naval speed, no. High crown of that doesn't matter. Individual de jure duchy belly. Uh, coinage rights. Mm -mm. Hereditary rule. That helps with partition law. Manorialism. Mm -mm. Well, can recruit armored horsemen at arms, can recruit mangonels at arms, unlocks all early medieval, army moves me plus 10%, that's big. Uh, we'll try for mangonels, 46 years. And, oh, yeah, 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 we can feudalize, finally. We can feudalize Krakow. Uh, there. This button. Click. Feudalize tribe. Yes, look at that. Now we have a castle level one. And we can't build anything because we don't have the money, but... <laughs> we might eventually. And it's a big one. We have, um... Special buildings... Because it's Krakow, so we can build a university eventually. We can build a duchy building because it's a duchy uh, capital. And we can build three slots. It's not bad, but eventually we can increase this. As we saw before. So we're doing pretty fine, I would say. Uh, is there a hunt we can join? Cool. We actually can join it, and so we shall. And everything else well, it doesn't really matter much. <laughs> Let's check. We have some low control in our own counties that we still hold, but I don't care. We're here for recreation, as is our tradition. With our lads from all over. We'll not get much prestige out of this, but that's fine. Finally, we feudalized our thing here. So finally, we can start building up. 
Yes, fly my hawk. We only do this because it reduces our stress. That's all we want. Really. Oh, we gained 150 prestige out of it. Nice. So what will we build? Uh, obviously, going for the cheap one would be nice, right? Station heavy cavalry doesn't help us. We don't have heavy, heavy cavalry, and we won't for a while. Um, leave this adventure, reduce some stress. Very good. So we would want stationed men at arms, damage and toughness. This is just generally going up. And a lot of uh, levies. So it doesn't matter which you put here. It's just plus 10%. Uh, wrestling contest in this holding minus 50%. So if we have a wrestling contest here, a grand tournament, it costs us 50% less to host, which is a lot of money uh, that we are potentially saving there. I like that. This is just overall for reducing grand uh, thing and heavy infantry plus 20%. So barracks is highly attractive to me. Archery contest. Stationed archers and skirmishers. Also not bad. But I like our heavy infantry. So I think I want to go for that. So we'll likely end up with the barracks. Which isn't as much of a boost for the... Uh, for the grand tournament. But... For everything else, works decent. Works well enough. I don't need guardians. I don't need net wet nurses. I don't need anything. I have everything I need right here. So this lad here, down there. Who will join you, this lad? How much people do you have? Not much. Eh. Where else can we attack? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So many options. So, so many options. But I think, quite honestly, we'll leave it here for today. We've done quite a bit. And I thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, stick around. If you're watching on YouTube, you can uh, follow me over on Twitch. Links are in the description. And maybe join me on our live stream. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching here. Leave a subscription, upvote, and see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.